Larson Tuber is today India's largest engineering and construction company and its peers are far behind in terms of size and scale. Ask anyone in the trade about the company and they will tell you that a large part of the company's success comes from two things. Its focus on technology and pushing its limits and the sheer entrepreneurial drive that has made it create 64 whole new businesses. But this success hasn't come easy. Through the late 80s and early 90s, as the company faced the spectre of a changing landscape as India opened up, it also faced a series of boardroom crises that started with a takeover attempt, new owners and finally an uncomfortable partnership which ended with l and handing over its cement arm to the A.V. Birla Group which had a stake in it in 2004. For the current chairman, looking back at that decade, it was all about time being wasted. See, there are two things. One is the process of opening up of Indian economy was incorrect. They first did not allow part private sector at all. And when they opened, they opened for the world. So the private sector never got time, first of all, to settle down. They should have first opened up for all the Indian companies for three to four years, given them time to digest and settle down, mature before they can face the world. But that never was done. It was opened up for the whole world all of, all of a sudden. Obviously, most companies were not ready for that. And so is LNT. And LNT was not given an opportunity three, four, five years ahead of only competing um, amongst the Indians. We had to rapidly, therefore, essentially take action. And whether we could have done it still much faster than what we did is an is a issue one can discuss. Yes, maybe we could have been faster. Hmm. I would say this, that in 90s, right? We could have been one of the biggest uh, IT uh, company because we had the largest professional. We were the first one to get into the latest in the IT for our internal application. We were the first in Asia to implement the ERP and so on. But we never thought that it is a business worth pursuing for providing IT to the outside world. We thought IT is an enabler for running so your you're own saying business. Larsen Tubro could have been a, a TCS or an Infosys? If, if it was possible. I cannot say of TCS because they started in 75, but we would have been one of the leading company for sure. In IT? Yes. I mean, had we started eight, nine years ahead because that was a golden period. What were the repercussions of missing that period? Because you've often been very, very vociferous in, in, in your stance that engineers have been lost to the IT industry. Do you think that if Larson had grown at that period and you know had not missed it, that you wouldn't have had that drain of engineers going into IT and you could have become bigger also in a sense? Yeah, partly that is true. Partly I think our HR policy needed more dynamic. You see, we had over a period of time started depending more on seniority and therefore the merit did not take a front seat. So on one hand, we were not in the new economies we remain in the old economy, that is the heavy industry and construction and so on and so forth. And the new economy provided huge opportunities. We did not transform into that early enough. And the young engineers wanted to go into the new fields like IT or engineering services and so on. And we lost that, not only the opportunity, but lost more, more than 9, 10,000 people during that decade uh, between eight, late 80s and maybe uh, early 2000. And, and you know our succession planning problem would not have been so acute as it turned out had we not had that whole process of seniority taking an age over marriage. The issue of who will succeed AM Nayak is one that many are worried about and it will be a tough one to decide on. But back in 1999, when Nayak took over as a chairman of LNT, he seemed to have his work cut out. And he also seems to have known exactly what to do. I have been observing LNT for a decade. As I mentioned that, you know, I was always thinking about the future on any jobs. Mm. And uh, then I, I had started thinking where else we could do something different than we have been doing before. Where there are shortcomings and one of the biggest shortcomings was entrepreneurship. We were extremely happy 
and continue to be happy to be a professionally managed company. But we missed one point that a lone professionally managed company is not, not enough. Mm. You have to be entrepreneurial. You have to be entrepreneurial leadership with professional background. And that is the only way you have to create value. So when I took over, I asked our employees that you have been in one way or the other with a sword on your head that someday somebody will buy you. You know why? You are very cheap. So if you are very cheap, you are always tempting everyone to buy. The mindset, Was it insecurity or ambition that made that change? Where you felt, because you went through a, a very sticky period through the late 80s and 90s. Was it insecurity about you know, being taken over or, or, and that independence going? Or did you realize that in a differently uh, engineered India, where the economy was opening up, scale is all that mattered? No, I think it is a combination of many things. But certainly not driven by the fact that you would you would be taken over again and so better better uh, create more and more value in the company. It was the way I tried to convince employees because the employees mindset was like anywhere in the world that the moment you want to create more shareholder value, some jobs will be lost. That's the first step everybody takes. My point is in a growing economy, economy being open, right? The opportunities were abundant. Nobody needed to worry about losing job. But everybody needed to worry about how to create more value. Mm -hmm. right? So in our vision statement in, in 99, which was launched on 1st of November, we brought two major change. One, that LNT should become multinational. And our international uh, sales was almost zero. And we were 100% Indian, Indian centric. And the second was, you have to create value. What is the objective of that? That the stock option given to them will one day become valuable, although they never thought it would be, and they were all filed by everyone, till they started to see that the share price started going up from 2003. I mean, you won't believe that we had only engineering side of it. Mm. Market cap was only three and a half thousand crores in 99. Why? 2003, it had share price was allocated at 140. And that was three and a half thousand. And in eight years, that three and a half thousand is 85,000. And it went up to 188, 28,000. Broadly, Nike's first plan was dubbed Project Blue Chip. And it's thanks to that and what followed that the employees at LNT got a bonanza. A multifold return on the company's stock between 2003 and now in 2012. The zooming LNT stock price was just an obvious manifestation of the many changes from within the company. More on that when we return.